Welcome back to the Sort of Truth podcast, the alcohol fueled chapter by chapter reread of the Sort of Truth series with a coach full of craft brew on the side. I'm Nate. And I'm Aaron. And on this episode, we are circling back to chapter 39 of Blood of the Fold. Speaking of circling back, you will have noticed, I would assume, that Aaron is not Jade. Yeah. Um, I think now is a. If you, yeah, if you didn't notice already, because uh, I know we get told a lot when we're in person that people have a hard time <laughs> telling you two apart. Uh, yeah, telling us apart because our our voices sound so similar. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I don't I don't know if that's on me or if that's on Jade, but we do we get that a lot. <laughs> so hopefully this is easy enough for you guys and doesn't throw you guys off too much. Um, yeah, because Jade could not make it to the recording for uh, this week's episode, and Nate, you know, he he called me up and he said, "Hey, um, Jade flaked on our listeners. Uh, can you fill in because we know you're loyal and dedicated?" And I said, <laughs> "You know, all well, that makes sense on Jade. She is, you know, she hates the listeners, and I love you guys. So, you know, I told him, hey, I'll I'll be over in five minutes. Now she is gonna hear this." What? <laughs> yeah. You know, after we're done recording, I will explain to you what a podcast is. This, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, I thought this was live. Yes. Totally live. Yep. Okay. Luckily, you spoke in what clearly was not a sarcastic tone. <laughs> so, okay, I feel better now. Cause, ugh, she would literally probably kick my ass if she heard what I just said. <laughs> literally, probably. Literally, no, probably. Most assuredly. <laughs> <laughs> she literally 100%. Will kick my ass. Oh, that's fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we start this chapter back with Kalen and Addie. The two of them are tripping over Orsk's dead body for the third time, surrounded by other dead bodies. And I would be upset if I am tripping into a dead body for the first time. <laughs> I can only imagine what that it would be would like. would be upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. Like, do. Do you think, like, how many times do you trip over a dead body? Does it not become a surprise or like startling anymore? Over under you mean just the shock of seeing a dead body or thinking you were walking away and here it is again. All the above. Because I would think one, <laughs> probably <laughs> right around that number. Okay, so over under six, you're taking the under. <laughs> Definitely under. Okay, okay. Just want to clarify. Just want to clarify. <laughs> and, you know, I, I'm. A little upset that Orsk was killed off screen. Yeah. Yeah. Skip that totally. I know when I listen to Audible, they'll jump in like this and be like, oh, they tripped over Orsk's dead body. And I'm like, wait, no, I got to have the wrong chapter. Let me go back. And within the first five seconds, you go, no, I've listened to this one. What the hell? Yeah. But yeah, it's missing. And I don't know. Orsk was a bad guy who was confessed. So maybe, like, good kind didn't want you to feel bad when he died because he really was a piece of shit. Maybe not. I don't know. He was endearing, though, a little bit more towards the end. Like, he was fucking horse. Big O. I'm, I'm a big fan of the redeemed villain. Like, you know, the, the used to be bad, but now is a good guy thing. Yeah. So, like... I, I I was getting a little attached to Ors. <laughs> and yeah, it, he wasn't redeemed because, you know, he, he wanted to changed be. himself. Yeah, yeah. He didn't choose to become a good guy, but you know, I mean it it's still kinda was was something I could root for. <laughs> but I mean, and honestly, like, how many men did Orsk kill protecting Kaylin ever since she confessed him? Well, we know that he killed like 20 or 30 just now. Just now. Just before he died. Yeah. I mean, this dude has potentially like killed a hundred people in defense of Kalen. Like even if, maybe if it's Easily. not by his choice, like he's still done some redeeming feats. So I don't know. That just, that rubbed me the wrong way a little bit. I was like, my boy Orsk, just gone like that. <laughs> I had to pour one out for my homies right at work. Did you? No. <laughs> I was going to say, how'd your boss feel about that? Uh, one, he doesn't know I drink. And <laughs> two, I would not waste good beer on fictional characters. Well, no, I'm well, going to have to. Oh, <laughs> uh oh. On their death. 
uh, that's fine. Would you drink a beer for a fictional character? Oof. Uh, yeah. If you were reading something, and you're just like, oh, damn, so-and-so. Hey, I can make this easier for you. If you just want to shorten up that question to, would you drink a beer? The answer is yes. The answer is always yeah. yes. Add whatever you want afterwards. Yeah, I'd have a beer. Answer's probably yes. <laughs> so Kaylin remembers pretty quickly that vision that Jebra had about her going in circles. They have been running on their instincts, and she decides that the only chance to like get out of this circle spell, I think is what it's called, is to do the opposite of what they feel would be right. Yes. Addie agrees, saying that it might be a spell, but she's too tired to really tell. But so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do the opposite of what we think we should do. Well, it's so like when Addie and Kaylin, or when, when Kaylin's like, well, we need to go the opposite way. And then it's they say, or uh, uh, she grabs Addie's hand and then goes the opposite way. Is she actually going the opposite way? Or did she like, nope, well, we're always going that way. We're always turning left. We're NASCARing it up. It's a left turn, <laughs> followed by a left turn, followed by a left turn. We're going right this time, damn it. But then, you know, they go left. Like, do they just do they just think they're going right and they always turn left? I think maybe they just turned around and started walking backwards. I, I you know, I don't I don't really know. I know that until the spell's broken, they're going in a circle, no matter what their intention is. So if they did, if they just would stop and then started walking backwards. Would they would they go in the same circle, or would it be like a reverse circle, and then they would make like a figure eight? Like you'd have a circle up top and then a circle on bottom. Well, a figure eight's not a circle. No, no I mean, if no, you were, I, if you were, just if you were looking in a circle above, the other way, maybe. If you were looking above, like when they were going forward, you would have the bottom circle, but I then guess... all of a sudden they're like, oh, we're going to walk backwards, then they would be going. Because if you turn left, but you're going backwards, you would actually be turning right. Right? Affirmative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe two people who don't know how to do magic shouldn't be trying to figure out how yeah, spells work. Probably not. <laughs> Either way, they're going in a rounded pattern of some kind. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then the next question I had was Addie says that she is too tired to feel a spell. Yeah, that was a little bit weird. It feels like that would be a static effect. Like, no, no, I don't care how tired I am. I can tell when someone's casting a spell on me. Well, and we get how Kaylin's magic works. She uses the magic, and then it's, like, not gone from her, but she needs a couple of hours. But we never thought Addie's magic worked the same way. Yeah. Like Zed, he could be tired, so he might be too weak to do some more powerful stuff, but never to where... He was just rendered enable. Yeah. It just, without giving anything away, it seems kind of convenient. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm, I'm sure, you know, we're in book three of a very long book series. These questions probably get answered, but yeah. I mean, it was just obviously from, from me right now, having only read, I mean, I've only read, I've finished book three, but I haven't read anything farther. It was a real like questioning moment for me. I'm like, wait. It's not just like an that endless happen. Supply. Yeah. Yeah. That's magic. It should be. Yeah. Thinking oh. like even with Hogwarts and stuff. Boom. More food. Not yeah. a problem. Just there. Because magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they run away from the way that makes sense. They go down a slope through the trees, deep fucking snow. This sucks. As they do, men attack them and Kalen dispatches them with sword blows to their legs. Surprise, motherfucker! You think I'm going for your chest, and I'm going to take your feet out. That would suck. And also, it would probably take a while to die. Yeah, she goes right for their legs, and it says that she hits the femur on one guy and then cuts the mm. artery on the other. That's some precision. Which, you know, first of all, gross. <laughs> um, but yeah. second of all, do they know what femurs and arteries are? Like, do they know that's the name of those things? I don't know. I think probably the name of the bones. Maybe. I it Look, if I saw veins and arteries, yeah. I would not be able to tell the two apart. Yeah. And I, like... I know arteries are supposed to be bigger, I believe. Like, if you hit an artery, that's bad. Because that's a <laughs> lot of blood. That's bad. Yeah, and I think that arteries come directly from the heart. 
So you're constantly gushing blood out of an artery. Oh, okay. I I think in my, you know, one year of anatomy and physiology that I took like 15 years ago in high school, <laughs> I I believe that is correct. Huh. Um, but I'm sure there's probably a listener or two who might have slightly more knowledge on that than me. If you have slightly more knowledge than Aaron on that subject, you if, should write in and let us know. If you debatably have slightly <laughs> more knowledge than me, let me know. Um, yeah, no, but Kaylin just straight up, like, she kills these She's guys. She's savage. Or, sorry, no, she doesn't kill these guys. Leaves them to bleed out. Like, not even, like, a quick... Like, I know she says, hey, we gotta run, like, we have time, to- or we don't have time. How long does it take to just, like, quick stab, stab? <laughs> Like, mercy kill. Don't let them bleed out. That's that's cruel. Well, I don't know. I think it might just be an efficiency thing. Like, she doesn't really even care if they die, but if they don't have feet, they damn sure aren't going to chase me. Yeah, and so, I've... just put that to rest right now. We know if there's one thing you should be, it's efficient. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, Addie lost her cape in the beginning of all this. Kaylin makes her take the wolf hide cape that she wears since she's sweating and she needs her sword arm free anyways. It does make a comment about how her arm is so damn tired that she could hardly lift the sword, which I thought was weird concerning we're doing these pretty extreme and precise, uh, you know, angled cuts with the sword. But I don't know. She is also very well trained with the sword. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense. But she's about done. Yeah. Both of them are about done. Adrenaline's a hell of a drug. So <laughs> that's I'm, the truth. Cuz and it's we're we're told right away from the beginning that Addie appears to be like near death from exhaustion and then yeah, Kaylin like can barely lift her sword like they are they're not in a good spot right not, now. Not in great shape. No. no. And at this point they don't know which way they're going. They're just running for their lives. They're still trying to go right when left feels correct, I'll say. Um, all Kaylin can think of is how Richard needs her when she really should be thinking about how she needs to not die. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Richard needs you. Let's fucking move. Yeah. Well, and this part had me confused as to if they are going in a circle because the chapter opens with Addie clarifying that there is enough light from the moon to see. Like she says, she's like, no, no, there's enough moon. I can see we're not going in a circle. But then right afterwards, they say that they're running through a forest where there's not enough light to see where they're going. (laughs) So maybe that's why it just darkens it all that way and makes you run back in a circle. Like they keep hitting the one spot where the moonlight is coming through and they're like, oh, clearly we're making distance because moonlight again. I think it was the tracks, though, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you should know on the tracks. So it might be even more cartoonish than what we're making it. Maybe... Literally, as they walk, which they think is a straight line, and it's yeah. not, it's a circle, there's just a little tiny cloud that just snows again on the ground, covering their tracks. I went the other way, and <laughs> I I thought you were going to say that there was someone following them with a branch just a little tr- that's <laughs> wiping away their tracks <laughs> right behind them. <laughs> that would be even more cartoony than the thing I said. I love it. I, hey, you know what? Why not both? Both. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll agree to both. <laughs> Suddenly, in front of them are two horses. Unsurprisingly, with Toby and Lunetta on them. Kaylin tries to claim that they are just two travelers, and they are outraged that the blood would attack people that they don't even know. Yeah, and uh, and good old Toby Brogy is not a fan. Toby like, Brogy. He right away, <laughs> right away is like, oh, oh, just two travelers, really? Huh? Mm. You guys have killed like a hundred dudes. <laughs> what? Even if you were innocent, you're in a lot of fucking trouble. Man. Oh, yeah. You killed a hundred people. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. I mean, Brick got in trouble when he killed one guy with a trident. <laughs> like, these guys killed a hun- over a hundred, possibly. So Toby drops the bomb that he actually knows who she really is, which not only confuses the fuck out of Kaylin, but also pisses her off. And. We know from a conversation with Zed and Kaylin that 